Welcome to the family! Hey guys, you have McGann, and as is per my usual, I have an order from Limited Run Games where I can't remember what's inside. Especially since the pandemic, it has taken so long to get things in that uh, I just, I, I don't even know what I'm ordering anymore. I think this probably has a night trap in it because I seem to order a thousand copies of Night Trap, even though I have several copies of the original on the Sega Genesis. All right, let's see what the damage is this time. I see some cards. Ooh, I see a Night Trap card. <laughs> yep, yep, there is Night Trap with our beautiful Rainbow Limited Run logo. And what are you, Ground Zero Texas. I also have the original copy of this exact game. And it looks like I did buy them for the Sega CD. So it is absolutely not different <laughs> than the ones I already have. I will get the wrappers off of these though and we'll take a look at what's inside. And here is, ooh, I got a big night trap. Woohoo, I must've got the premium set. I'm an 80s kid that grew up in the 90s, so I do love all this stuff. Ooh, here we go. Oh, I didn't realize this was going to be a whole case. I thought it was just going to be an insert sheet, but this is Shantae and the Seven Sirens, and it is just the case. Again, I thought I was just getting an insert sheet. This is supposed to be like a Best Buy exclusive reprint. I do not have the cartridge for this game though, so um, that'll be interesting. I did buy my son the plushie that came with the digital code for this game, so I guess now he can have a box to set on his shelf to remind him that he got Shantae digitally. Let's see, I think that's all in the box. Yep, that's the end of the box. So we will start woo, with the smaller thing first so we can get a good look at it and move on to the bigger thing, the bigger set with more pieces to look at. And these were both done by Digital Pictures, which if I can get this into the light, they were huge on the Sega CD. Like if they released a game, you knew it was gonna be fun. Like it was gonna be lit and crazy. And let's actually just appreciate this case for half a second before I get into what the disc and everything looks like. Yeah, Digital Pictures were one of the first, if not the very first people who took live action video and translated it into video games. So they were a lot of fun. Okay, so we have disc one here and it is a two disc game, but for some reason, you know, here's disc two. For some reason, they didn't make the box to accommodate that, which is kind of strange. And we have a reversible cover, it looks like. So we'll take a peek in here for a second. Oh, this is upside down. And here is the other cover that you can choose to put it this way. And I'm not gonna stop and read through all this, but just to show you, it is a black and white printed manual here. And I am not positive if the original Sega CD was black and white or in color. Let me check. Okay, so this is the original one I have. And of course you can tell the difference because it's all cracked and broken now on the case. And it doesn't say limited run up the side. Although if we were to compare notes here, we do have fairly significantly different artwork between the original and what Limited Run put out, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, of course, you don't want to do a reproduction game and make it look identical to the original because then scalpers are going to scalp. But this game was never really that expensive to begin with. It never went crazy in price. But let's see, is this guidebook... Yeah, this one's a lot more yellow. Oh, it is also in black and white with the pictures and everything. So they did do a pretty authentic job with reproducing that. Uh, I wish that they would sell more of these Sega CD cases that I could replace all these broken ones that I have. A lot of them are broken not because of me, but because I bought them secondhand and nobody knows how to take care of stuff. There are no collectors. All right, so that was Ground Zero and the Empty Shantae case. Now let's get into the Night Trap, which not that I don't fully enjoy Jurassic Park as one of my favorite Sega CD games, but Night Trap is crazy good. I don't, I am like so obsessed with it and I don't know why, but there is something about trying to stop these ninja vampires from killing all the people in the game that I am just so into. I like Double Switch too, but not as much as Night Trap. Night Trap is crazy, especially with that contraption that they have to suck the blood out of people. Like it, it is the wildest game if you have not played it. 
I need to do like a whole playthrough of this. So here is Night Trap with our infamous screaming blonde and the ninja vampire with his blood sucking collar in the background. Let's see. Digital pictures again. Retro collection. That is really hard to get on film. Nothing on the bottom. We're entering the Tronverse. Okay. Oh, includes Sega CD and Sega CD 32X. That's awesome. I never had the Sega CD 32X version, but I do have the 32X, so I'll finally get to play. And the Night Trap original soundtrack. We'll take a look at the disc in a second. Let's see. Poster. Is that the whole thing? Oh, no, here we go. I knew there'd have to be more if I ordered all this. We have our beautiful Night Trap coin with the Scat Night Trap. Oh my gosh, I love these challenge coins. Scat Night Trap. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh my gosh, I know I ordered a lot of Zombies Ate My Neighbors stuff from them too, so... Oh, that's cool. Okay. Then we have our scat, if I can get it in the light just right, our scat night trap pin, which is double backed. And let's see, we have a VHS tape piece of cardboard here. What are you? Ah, uh, looks like another disc is in here. What is... Uh, it's a Blu-ray. I have no memory of what this is supposed to be. Is this like it doesn't say. I wish there was a contents or something list in here so I could know what I bought. Then there's a double-sided poster. Let me hang this up. So we have non-stop action, screaming villains. And on the flip side, I believe that this was the cover that ended up getting censored because she's a lot more risque here. Oh, oh, okay. This is Night Trap re-edited as a Blu-ray movie. So if you just want to go through and watch the actual scenes that they recorded for the game, you can do that with this. All right, that makes sense now. I had to go look up what I bought again. I really wish I would have gotten the Night Trap set that was for the PlayStation, but uh, I missed that. I didn't know limited run games existed then. Here is the original soundtrack. It looks like we have all of three tracks on here. Anything looks like the scat team again. There is our disc. This is not a booklet. It is just a paper insert to make it look nice. And then here is our physical game, which is in more of a PlayStation style of case. But I love how they did this here because this is Night Trap for the Sega CD and this is the one for the Sega CD 32X. Because if you needed the 32X to play the Sega CD game, it would have a yellow stripe up it. So I, I love that they kept the homage even if they didn't keep the original case design, which is weird because this box is so big they could have put a Sega CD size thing in it. But here is disc one. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's in there tight. Um, hmm. Okay, there we go. Confidential eyes only. Okay, there's disc one. Here is our manual. And there is disc two. And this one is in full color. But again, it's not really authentic because it's not the right size of a Sega CD uh, night trap box. I that's the thing that's frustrating is that sometimes they put it in a sleeve, sometimes they put it in a jewel case like this, sometimes they put it in the big Sega CD jewel cases. So nothing I get from limited runs really fits on my shelf correctly. And then here for the 32X version, if I can get you twisted, we'll show you. There's disc one and two. Oh yeah, is there an image back here? Let's find out together. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, there's the uh, grainy image of all the people coming out of the car. The station wagon, those were hot in the 90s. Okay, so that looks like the whole of everything we've got in here. And of course I just put it away wrong. You go in first. Now you guys all fit in here. Because I am a collector and even though I will open and play these things, I want them all put away perfectly every time. Collector problems go. 
So there we go. There's my order from Limited Run Games that came in October of 2021. Empty Shantae Box, Night Trap Premium Edition, and Ground Zero Texas, just regular old standard Sega CD case edition. Thank you guys for watching. I do unbox quite a few video game things and other nerdy things like Disney dolls. So if you want to subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do, I appreciate you if you're willing to do it. Oh, and of course, almost forgot, let me add in these beautiful cards. <laughs> this has been McGann. You've been watching the family and we will see you next time, family members. Bye! If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more and let us know in the comments what other videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fan Girl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members! Bye.